Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let us learn one more interesting thing and one more very important thing. So while you are auditing or monitoring your AWS account, this is very helpful. Today we are learning about in this video, VPC logs. What is this VPC logs? So it will, it will able to provide you logs to your VPC at a different levels. That means it will provide you, if you create VPC logs, then it create logs for whole this VPC. At this top level VPC, it will create logs for you. And at sublet level, it create logs for you. At instance level also, it create logs for you. So what does log represent? Sir? Log represents, it's a record. Log is nothing but it's a record. So what does it contain is whatever the activity that is performed. Let's say a request is sent from my on-premise to my web server. In that case, my request need to enter through this, enter to this VPC, right? Yeah. So since my request entered to this VPC, that is recorded as a log. And since I want to access this web server, my request will reach to where my, my request will need to move. My, my request will need to move into my public subnet also. Yes. So that also will be recorded. And in order to access this, in order to access this instance, my log need to, uh, my request need to move towards this instance, right? Yes. So that is also recorded in the form of log. So after the request is processed, this instance will send the response, right? Yes. So that response will move to where? Again back. So even that response also recorded as a log. So whatever the work that you performed or whatever the resource that you utilize under your VPC, either it may be web server, application server, database server, whatever the thing, whatever the service that you used under your VPC, that is recorded as a log under your VPC logs. So it might think very useful, right? So whenever somebody do something, then you can able to monitor that after some time also. So you can able to monitor few days back. That is, if you want to monitor 30 days back events, you can able to monitor based on the date. So in this way, you can able to clearly audit and monitor your AWS account. So you can able to understood what happens in your AWS account, right? Yeah. So what are the things that are performed in your AWS account that also you can able to monitor by using those logs. So that is very important. So when do we can able to create these logs? So we call these logs VPC level logs as VPC flow logs. What is that? VPC flow logs. We call these VPC level logs as VPC flow logs. So let us see these directly from console AWS. You can see here. I I already logged in into my AWS account. I already logged in into my AWS account. Now I opened my VPC dashboard. You can see I opened my VPCs. So click I just clicked on my VPCs. You can see my VPC is available here. If I click on it, then it will show me it's a default VPC. Now you can see an option called flow logs. Just click on it. Here you can see whatever the logs you have, those are. So you can enable this flow logs whenever you're creating your VPC. So whenever you're creating your VPC, you can able to, you can able to enable this flow logs. Once you enable this flow logs, it cannot be disabled. It cannot be disabled, right? Yeah. So even you, if you want, you can able to create a flow log. So just click on that and even able to provide your flow log. And if you want to provide any filters, filter it and provide any max intervals of time, your flow logs will record. That also you can able to provide. So 
in which destination you want to store your flow logs that also you need to specify if, if you want to send your flow logs to cloud watch then that also you can able to select or else you can have option to put your logs under your s3 bucket or aws data firehouse aws firehouse in same account or different account also you can able to put so like this these many destination options are available for you to store your logs so based on the selection option you need to select the destination folder here and once again you need to provide an iam role so why do we need to provide this iam role because in order to access the logs in order to create the logs and put the logs under let's say i selected this cloud watch this aws will create logs for you so in order to create based on the events it will create the logs for you now how does how does any item which will put under this vpc uh, cloud watch first the service need to access that vpc cloud watch right yeah so how any service can able to access other service by giving permission only right yes how do you provide permission by using iam role so you can able to provide permission to this flow log to put whatever the log that you created under this cloud watch by using this iam role so by using this iam role you can able to provide permission to this flow log to put whatever the logs that you created under this so here you can able to select the destination let's say what are the available that i was selected here and you need to select the role here here you need to provide the role for what you need to provide a role for putting this data into your cloud watch putting the logs into cloud watch so for that you need to provide two things first one is putting permission so describing listing and putting option you need to provide you need to assign to a role and you need to attach that here again you need to provide assume role as well to your iam role and then you need to provide that role to here let's say this is the role that contains all the assigned permissions then you you can select that and log record format which format you want that you can select if you want any custom format then you can select from here so the default format will be like this this is how your log will be look like so this is how your log data will be so whenever even you see any log the log will be like this only this version indicates version id account indicates by using which account they are using and by using what interface they are using what is the source from which source ip address they are accessing what is the destination ip address that they are accessing and source by using which port they are trying to access by using which destination port your data is sent back by using which port they are accessing by using how many packets or how many bytes what is the start and stop ending times and what are the actions they performed and what is the log status so this is how each and every log will look like this is the default format how every log will look like so by using by watching this default format you can able to identify from which account your request will get from which source address you got the request and from which source port and by using which protocol you got the request and how many bytes of data packets that are transferred back to the destination address on which port your data is transferred back and which interface id this whole thing will happen and how many bytes will be transferred and what is the start time and what is the stop time of the request and response and what is the action that is performed and what is the log status so like this everything will be recorded under your log so you can able to monitor what are the changes which have happened in your log so just click on create log so that your log will be created since this is a demo purpose i don't like to create it so i'm just clicking on cancel okay so like this you can able to create the flow logs vpc flow logs there is another way as well 
by default you have an optional and a service called cloud trail what is that cloud trail if you are expecting if you are expecting to monitor if you are expecting to monitor whatever the services access if you want to monitor all the services in your aws account so you can able to monitor by using this cloud trail here you can see the option what that is event history you can see right yeah so just click on it so that it can able to provide you whatever the events that are performed whatever the all events that are performed those will be available here which resources you you have accessed so everything will be available here this cloud trail will monitor at your account level which level account level so at account level what are the services that you access those all things will be monitored and stored here if you click on any event message then you can able to see that event related json script and even you you can able to see the logs as well so let's say i have done all the operations on mumbai region so i just shifted it to mumbai region you can see you can see whatever the actions that i performed under mumbai region those all will be available here i used ec2 ec2 related security groups vpc networking acls route tables internet gateways so whatever the services that i used in this region those all i can able to get from that region if you open any of these if you open any of these then you can see then you can see the json view as well right yes so this is how it will look like you can able to monitor your account level services all the services that are used to do at account level then you can use this cloud trail so let's say you want to monitor particular resource i don't want account level i want resource level then you can choose cloud watch so there is one uh, one more monitoring service available for you for auditing purpose that is cloud watch so by using this cloud watch you can able to even perform events as well you can see the option events so based on the rules that you specified you can able to create event buses and you can able to provide you can able to perform events as well based on the metrics also let's say if you were if you were ec2 instance reached if your ec2 instance cpu limit utilization reached to 90% then you are expecting to launch another ec2 instance so at that case how do you automate the task you can automate the task by using this cloud watch you can able to monitor that ec2 instance whenever it reaches to 90% then you can then you can provide an event where it can trigger lambda function there in that lambda function you can write the automated code so whenever your lambda function triggered then that will create you automatically one more ec2 instance so in that way you can use this for automation tasks for creating events for performing events you can see even logs here you can see under cloud watch logs you can see under cloud watch logs you can click here log groups here it contains whatever the logs here you, you it contains all the logs you can see it was loaded so currently i am not having any logs if you click on create logs so then based on your configuration that you provided here if you create a log then regarding that service particular service related logs will be created here you can able to see those as well so coming to these alarms you can able to trigger alarms as well whenever some limit is reached for that this cloud watch is useful so in this way you can able to you can able to audit logs in aws account if you want vpc vpc level flow logs then use vpc flow logs which are available under vpc you can see after opening this vpc you have an option called so first you need to open your vpc and select whatever the vpc that you want to provide flow logs then select the flow logs under that then create the flow log 
in this way you can able to create at a time flow logs or else if you want to monitor account level flow logs then use cloud trail if you want individual service level flow logs then you can enable then you can use cloud watch so i hope you understood what are the different ways which are available for you for monitoring these flow logs and store your flow log records if needed so i think this video is understanding to you and you can understood how you can able to watch the logs which are available in your account directly from aws console so i hope this video is understanding to you i think this video is contentful to you how to consider the logs in aws if you feel this video is contentful then please like share subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates thanks for watching again see you back in the next video with another interesting topic until then bye bye guys